down here in the southwest, we got a great coastline with some fabulous beaches. And obviously, the quality of our bathing waters is so important for all of us down here who rely so heavily on tourism and the money that that brings into our economy. The revised bathing water directive that comes in in 2015 sets tough new standards. It really raises the bar for bathing water quality. The great news is that the vast majority of our beaches in the southwest are going to pass these new standards with flying colours. There are some bathing waters that are going to struggle to meet these new standards and that's where the Environment Agency is focusing our work to address the causes of pollution. Bathing water quality can be affected by a range of issues. Pollution from farmland, pollution from urban areas, um, sewage, but also dogs and birds close to the beach. And we need to tackle all these sources of pollution if we're going to meet the tough new standards of this new directive. Well, we'd like to remove from our sewer fats, oils, greases, and then other products such as nappies, cotton buds, uh, sanitary towels. We do uh, promote the Bagget and Binnet campaign. Uh, our fog campaign which is fats, oils and greases. So there's lots of information out there to help customers understand what a sewer is designed for and what a sewer is not designed for. The beach is part of Lou's crown jewels. There are lots of reasons why people come to Lou for holidays but for families especially the beach is a key part of their planning and we want to make it agreeable to both visitors and locals alike. Anything which goes into the two rivers uh, that flow into Lou, that's the East Lou River and the West Lou River, will end up uh, affecting the bathing water quality, will end up in the harbour and in the sea. Uh, so it's not just the bathing water quality it affects, it's the marine environment and everything that lives in it. The Environment Agency is organising a range of local events at the communities uh, where we want to improve our bathing waters. And what we're asking people to do is, if they can, to come along, find out what the problems are, how they can help. If they can't make it, they can look at our website in other places to find out what they can do. Small steps we can all take to make improvements and help meet the challenge of the revised directive.